To another exciting, super duper, Lee duper episode of Slightly Ajar Chugger Chest. That's Satch. You can check us out at S A T C H D G M dot com, and our podcast is all up there. I'm your host, Jess Mark, and we got our co host right here, Nate Bit. Nate Bit, say hello to everybody. Uh, I'm just going to go towards the ladies and say hello, ladies. Nice. Uh, we've been talking to ladies for a couple episodes now, and our extremely just famous ladies. producer, extremely famous. Ed for the win. My beer's Ed. warm. Your beer's warm. Speaking of beer, uh, theme four, what's in our treasure chest tonight? It's and it's the Oktoberfest episode. Ooh, Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest. Which is totally video game-esque. Ooh. But actually today, we're just drinking. That's all we're doing. We've been drinking for a while, actually uh, doing a combination of prepping the show, and we also hopped in the future and prepped the show again for next week as well. Uh, when you're drinking, you can do a lot of amazing things. I, oh. I think so. I condone it. Absolutely. Yes. So... Today we're going to be talking about that, and again, it's still in our Halloween month, so things are still Ooh. scary. A couple of we got a couple of tracks for you guys, having some of our favorite things for some of the, our favorite games that we've played, all in Halloween mode, and I think you guys are going to enjoy it. Okay, and again, remember, we're drunk. Sorry. Are we though? Are we? I don't think so. Not I'm kind of I'm kind of sweating. I can't tell if it's just hot in here or I'm I'm actually like buzzing. Yeah, okay. I think we need I to take the shot right now. Yo, let's do it real quick. There's a shot here. Whoop! Hey, cheers uh, to our fourth episode. Fourth episode. I choose cheers. you, Pikachu. Yes. All right. <laughs> ah, delicioso. Wow. On that note, ouch. Let's get some news from Ed for the win. All right. Well, the Wii just had a price drop <laughs> to prepare for the Wii U, you know. Uh, okay, so. It's coming out in November, okay, the Wii U. So, Wii U? so, so the, by, wait, no, by October 28th, the Wii is going to drop. Wait, wait, stop. Um, wait, no, no. How nope. much does a uh, GameCube cost? <laughs> GameCube? <laughs> Do they still sell those? They and sell if those. they are, they're 20 bucks. Yeah. yeah. I, I, you know, the price drop, absolutely. Of course you need a price drop on your system. When you come out of a new system, you need a, a huge. Oh, you got to drop your other one. Significant price drop on it. But why would you want to pick up a Wii right now? Why would you want to pick up a Wii right? Exactly. It's, ba- it's, it's fully backwards compatible, I think right? everyone and, has and, a Wii right now. It, yeah. We came out with a solid system that, that had our some of our favorite genre of games and favorite characters of our games. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it was at an affordable price. So now we have the new system, Wii U, coming out with the same kind of deal. And, again, it's going to be more, way more affordable than the new Xbox and new PlayStation 3. Remember, our pl- I mean, I'm not new PlayStation 3. You don't PlayStation know that, 4. though. I do You don't know, know the price of the new Xbox I do and the new know PS3. That. I mean, it's, I, it's guaranteed that the new PlayStation is going to be just like how the PlayStation 3 was, five, 600 They bucks. learned their lesson, Same though, man. They're not going to do that again. I, have d- they. I doubt it. Have they? I, I, I guess we'll leave it up. We'll leave and it up, look, too. I, mean, I just feel like Sony's current situation, yeah. they're, they're hurting. They can't be putting out another $500 system Especially that no one's going to buy. Uh, security issue that they oh, had. Just, just everything. They're hurting right now. They're, they're in last place. Their Vita mm. sucks. I mean, it doesn't suck, but it, it, their sales <laughs> suck right yeah, now. Yeah, the sales aren't Yeah, great, and you know. it, it just... Well, I, it's, I feel like it's, it's still bad for them because we got the Wii U, and then we clearly have the Xbox next in line. Right. And then, mm-hmm. again, the PlayStation. They're going to be Which last. they haven't said anything they, about. Exactly. Yeah. They haven't said anything about it. It's dangerous territory for them. I feel like they're waiting. They're just waiting to, like, all the hype for the Xbox to kind of just die down. They're going to just, like, they, bam, they, PS4. They might, they, they might have to because the Wii, actually, or the Nintendo, excuse me, has always kind of introduced itself on its own time span. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, I, I feel like uh, maybe not the Super Nintendo, but maybe the 64 and the uh, the 64 and the PlayStation, the Dreamcast, kind of all kind of flop. I mean, all kind of came together. Yeah. But that was uh, it. Like, again, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, it was it. It was mm-hmm. it versus one or two. It wasn't like versus three. So now, again, the Wii U will have its entire Christmas mm-hmm. by itself. The Wii U. That's and true. again, you got Zelda, you got Mario for the kids and everybody. And I mean, for Mario fans. But their me. launch lineup is not not that great. It isn't. Yeah. 
It isn't. You know, uh, and, and, and Nintendo's like, oh, we have a great launch lineup, but our launch lineup uh, is six months. Yeah, you know? yeah <laughs> exactly, like, exactly. You like, know I mean, yeah. I, Zelda, the new Zelda won't come out till six months, maybe even a year later. Is it, yeah, it's, you know, it's it won't come out. It probably come out just to rival the fucking the, the Xbox. Probably, know? yeah. Probably to boot. I'm, I'm getting hot, man. Just even talking about this. What's the next one? At what's the next one? All right, they started a petition to create the new time splitters hd i'm pretty happy about that the the whole the company said they know there's a crowd there but they actually said like we want to make it but we don't know if it's going to sell basically is what they said so the petition's going online right mm-hmm. now to make it in hd and you know i'm pretty excited i think about it's it. great i mean like the the whole petition deal is excellent like there's a lot of video games i i think the biggest reference would maybe marvel's Capcom 2 uh, it was a great fighting game. A lot of people wanted the next one, but, you know, no one put a lot of... I, I, there wasn't enough energy out there about it, and it took them 10 years to make the next, the, the third one. Mm-hmm. And, you know, with this kind of format of, like, a petition of, like, hey, this, hear what the fans have to say. We've got half a million fans out there that want this game. That's half a million sales. That's, but really, though, in video game sales, that's nothing. I mean, like, I, I'm, I'm picking and choosing numbers, but well, I mean, okay, just okay, more or less okay, saying, okay, like, okay. the fact that you knowingly can be like, you know, we can sit at a table and be like, hey, man, should we really make this game? Is it going to work? Then we can be like, hey, you know, let's petition or let's get a Kickstarter. Right. Mm-hmm. And, like, you know, put that out there and just make the game. I mean, we'll see. We literally can see now exactly how many people out there liked our game. Because there's definitely a lot of, like, uh, indie, like, these weird, like, you know, like, cult classic games that are just don't, like, you, you I feel like don't work, but Nate's like, oh, you know, that really worked. Because, like, Time Splitters, you were telling me about that earlier, and I'm like, I never played it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But, like, again, I mean, this is one of three. I bet we go to one of three of a lot of guys, and we'll get time splitters. And oh, yeah. And we get that from a billion people, and fuck, you got 300 million it, it, people. It's, and it's honestly a great game. Like, I feel like it's it's one of those first-person shooters where you, you, can't, you can't jump. Million, you can't, it, like, yeah. it's... You know, it's it's it doesn't take itself too seriously, and it's just it's good fun. And I, all they really got to do is just just take Time Splitters two, which was amazing, and just make it HD. That's all you got to do. Crytek, just that's like what like ten minutes of work. Crytek, listen to this podcast about and put Crisis graphics on it. Shock <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what's what's next on the line? What's what what is, what, what what Halo Four has oh. been leaked. More Halo Four has it been leaked? Absolutely. Why? How? How? It's like Black Ops 2 being leaked. That's ridiculous. I don't believe you. Go away. No. Go away. No. Go away. It's been leaked. How? <laughs> well, don't tell me how. What, what's what been leaked? Everything. The whole damn, damn game. The entire game has been leaked. The whole thing? The whole damn game. Okay. What What are you telling us about it? That it's been leaked. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, excuse uh, me. I yeah, it's it's. I feel like every Halo has been leaked. You know, they've always released in what November. Mm, and I, I I feel like every Halo has been released. And, and, you know, just just for everyone who feels that like they need to go out and download it now, don't play on X. Don't be dumb and play on Xbox Live with it because oh, you're, if you you're gonna get banned. Just you're gonna, you're gonna lose your, your sixty dollars, and they're gonna yeah, they're gonna you're perma banned. You're you're booted. Mm-hmm. You're you're. Hammer band, whatever it is. Can you uh, can you appeal those bands sometimes? Like, hey, you know, my sister got on and she didn't know what the fuck. As soon as you're banned, as soon as you're banned, they're just like, sorry, you kind of oh. went against our contract that you, you get the clicked sad, right? to agree, which is mm-hmm. legally when you signed up for Xbox Live. Yeah, yeah. It's, you know, they control you. They every as soon as you pay that sixty dollars, damn yeah. you, Gates. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's totally Bill Gates. It's not even him anymore. He's like a, he's hardly <laughs> he, he's off like you mean you mean stuff. Lord Gates, Lord, Lord Gates, Gates. Yeah, Lord the Gates clan. I heard that everywhere he walks, people just carry him. Uh, he, 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 he doesn't walk anymore. He Lord Gates, what shall you need for this evening? Grapes, <laughs> red grapes. People just <laughs> seedless. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm. Oh, and on that Halo news, there's actually the. News that the second disc just for multiplayer is eight gigabytes. Eight which is gigabytes, freaking ridiculous. The what was it? The Xbox Live Arcade can't yeah. even can't even play it. It yeah. only has four gigabytes. Yeah, I was about to say yeah. The the slim, mm-hmm. the original slim version. If you don't have the Great. hard drive, mm-hmm. if you just bought the slim version because it was cheaper, and you're like, I just want this fucking box. Immediately, you can't play multiplayer Halo because it's only four gigabytes, and you'll and have it has to get to install the hard drive onto the hard drive. You have to get a hard drive. Extremely so, uh, stupid. 
that's good news as in you know you know before go ahead and spend uh i don't know if you can maybe find one on amazon for cheap like 60 some odd bucks to get a 250 yeah. hard drive hopefully upgrade your hard drive or you look at more money for yeah people. i mean it's more money it's mm-hmm. it's it's more money i mean that's how that's how people that's how they get us i mean honestly like you know you start realizing these things like the iphone 5 coming out and i gotta buy a new adapter for it well oh, that's, that's how they get stupid. you tough titties you know what i mean <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry you know I would hate to come upon a pair of tough titties. He's <laughs> <laughs> trying to squeeze uh, them. Like, damn, these are tough. What the these fuck? These are uh, they're not as enjoyable. You must work mm. out. They're not as enjoyable as I thought. What they're are you making tender. a muscle right now? It's, uh, mm. This is awful. Oh <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Any more news? <laughs> All right. Speaking of the iPhone, the iPod Touch. Fifth generation is coming out. What the I, hell is an iPod Touch? So, <laughs> it's literally you the iPhone. It. It's an iPhone five. It's the, the same specs and speeds. Without the that phone, really? Get is it? Is it phone. really the same chipset and sign? The same thing. That's kind of cool. I mean, if, if you're going to use it for videos and you can still have your, your if you, your regular phone and play your games on. Yeah. It, if yeah, you, I, I mean, like if you save battery, again, if like, you need to make a call. If you're in yeah. that, right. to me, if you're into that device setting of the iTouch and you are an adult. Then mm-hmm. you might as well get to iPhone five. Mm-hmm. It, it's a money thing, guys. Go spend some money. If you got it, man, do it. Is that it? That's the news. That's the news. Well, I just heard the news today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's feeling it. He's yeah. feeling it. Uh, you know, just for uh, sake, we're drinking Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. Uh, the thank palest. you, Nate Bit. Nate Bit actually oh, yeah. supplied. And I, I should mention that that Ed for the win grabbed. Um, some U the the quality quality vodka UV mm. uh, which is you know is on the, the quality. it's on the very bottom shelf and oh, the bottom I, I swore I saw it on whoa, top whoa. no it's <laughs> maybe it was maybe he just uh, he just put it up there for, for <laughs> yeah, first, like yeah I'm like I'll trick some people <laughs> uh, and it's the was it. Chocolate cake. Chocolate. chocolate cake vodka. Which is delicious. I got to admit, they're getting into some dangerous territory with these flavored vodka drinks. Like, um, they've got the uh, the spray, the foam. What? What? I've seen that. Uh, it's, a, seen? it's a spray. Okay, so Actual you can, spray? If you foam it into if, your mouth? If you're a boozer and you like whipped cream, Which you I am. can go. <laughs> To a like a liquor store, go to like the hood yeah. liquor store. Don't oh, go to, the hood. Yeah, don't go to like you know one of those. Don't go to a grocery store and get it. It won't be at the grocery store. Don't you need go to, go to, to like a liquor much. store. Yeah, and you look between like these vodkas. They have these um, uh, whipped cream mm-hmm. alcohol. What's it called? Then it's like oh, it's actually in like the absolutely. Thing. It's it's already oh. it's already in it. Absolutely, yeah, it's in there. I, I thought that was g- I thought that was ridiculous when I saw it, but then I was like, you know what, you know what's ridiculous. <laughs> no, that's, that's what I said. I was the like, bar has been pretty I'm low. I'm like, what's ridiculous? And I'm standing in the middle of all my arms like this. <laughs> yeah, talk to me. This you is know? actually yeah. kind of cool. But like, you're not going to use that to get drunk. You're not like if you are, it, it's you're just an idiot, to or you, you you're yeah. you're gonna, not you, lactose intolerant. You're going to use it to have a lot of fun, <laughs> yeah. or you could use it to put your kids to sleep. What? Put it under ice cream. Wow, you are just... For our next segment, we're going to tell parents how to uh, raise their children with whipped cream. Alcoholic whipped cream. Alcoholic whipped cream. Uh, First tip is that you could use alcoholic whipped cream to put them in bed. No, I Um, like... This is funny, because you're like, oh, here's just cappuccino, sweetie. Just have that. (laughs) She's like, "Mm, mommy, I don't feel... This is chocolate milk with alcohol whipped cream. (laughs) Mommy, I don't feel so good. (laughs) Blair. Go go to bed. (laughs) Now that you've thrown up, don't you feel really tired? (laughs) Yes. (laughs) Of course. (laughs) Well, that's, that's, that's absolutely ridiculous. Mm. Uh, back to the show. So Ed, uh, our amazing producer, Ed for the win, sent us oh, thank you. Uh, thank from you. hell. Sent us some amazing from tracks hell. again uh, for us to review for the day's show. Ed, mm-hmm. what was actually? I'm sorry, we're not even talking about Ed. Nate, bit your track. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go with me first. Uh, so my pick for the again October Fest um horror <laughs> like, what is it he's the, getting the you theme? ready he's getting you ready for our oh, we haven't even said the theme yet we said the theme I, but I'm, 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 I'm going to rehash the theme October for Fest woo October well, like, so basically we're talking about games that includes drinking but are also kind of scary which is a small niche but hey we found some games we did it my pick is condemned to He's like, he drinks in it. Yeah, that's that's all that's all yeah. the required means. It's scary. And I heard he he's drinks actually like a recovering alcoholic or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, he's definitely not a straight edge in that game. It's uh, but condemned to like my 
you walk around basically, you, you find these scary people and you hit them with a giant, you know those red wrenches that are just giant? Uh, monkey wrenches. Yeah. Monkey, monkey wrenches. Is that, is that, are yeah. they actually called monkey wrenches? Yeah, they yes. are. Okay. I, I have no idea why. Yeah, yeah. You just, you walk around, monkey you, built you, you find things and you just find random blunt objects and you just beat the shit out of people. Can't it's you use scary. like pipes and stuff too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, this is terrifying. No, wait, this is terrifying. It's got a clock thing going to it. When Ed sent us this, and I was yeah. like, I never played this game. What I was thinking is I can see a ghost coming up behind me. You're like, what time is it? <laughs> and I would be freaked out because I, I, I mean, You didn't know the time. I, I didn't know the time because the theme was so crazy. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you were like, oh, I'd my God, so I don't have a watch. I'm sorry. So, but, like, at the same time, like, creepy clock themes are great. Like honestly, like in any, v oh. I think that any scary video game should always have like you're at a time thing and you're like just turn some clocks take, on with some reverb. It's it's terrifying. a lot of drama in it. It's a lot of yeah. drama in like what's gonna happen next? 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 Ghost, ask me what time it is. Oh my god, <laughs> like ghost. You be like, what? It, Excuse I'm, me, what time is it? <laughs> oh my god, the ghost. <laughs> and I don't have a lot. I'm channel. blanking on it, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, it's a cool there, game, though. Is there a yeah. wrestler to ask, like, what time is it? Or something like what? that? What? What time? Uh, there's a lot of people who ask I what time like is it. A, a wrestler? A wrestler. Wrestler. Mm, yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really watch wrestling. I, I know. You know you know who I'm thinking nobody. about? Nobody. I'm thinking about The Rock. And I'm thinking about what he smells. He sm He doesn't ask for the that time. He doesn't ask for the time. He, rock doesn't he doesn't smell his, clocks, man. He doesn't smell clocks. <laughs> That's, That's the least that, intimidating yeah. wrestling. Do you smell club? this clock? <laughs> <laughs> that no, that, that's, 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 that's out of control. I apologize. No. Uh, completely apologize. <laughs> <laughs> my, <laughs> my theme, the one that I picked was... I love uh, this one. House, <laughs> House of the Dead Overkill. And, uh, I mean, this song is amazing. Um... You know, and when I when I first heard this song, I was I always think about the kind of like the indie artists how they got into it, and like kind of like you're playing like um, I, I almost don't want to believe this is the actual song. Yeah, exactly. I don't so wanna, funky. I don't want to believe it because this again, isn't scary. Absolutely not. Because it's that grindhouse sort of genre. Like they didn't take the, themselves too seriously. You know, they made it was well, well, it was a lot of fun. Was this for the Wii? Yeah, it was for the Wii. Mm. Oh, it sounds like it's for the Wii. <laughs> oh, oh, what do you say? Well, the Wii's there? only going to be one hundred thirty dollars soon. So oh, that's snap! Be, there we go. There's a plug. Yeah. Mm. October twenty eighth. I got one hundred thirty dollars lying in my pocket. Might as well go buy a Wii. It's only yeah. twenty dollars less. <laughs> oh, there's a new one out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everybody, take a drink. <laughs> yeah, chug, chug, uh, chug. No, but like you know, uh, it's kind of like playing Grand Theft Auto for the like first or second time. You hear all these indie artists, you know, like man, how did they get their track on here, or who they is this artist and whatnot? And then you go on YouTube. Thank God there's YouTube now because with games like that and even shows, I find myself like, oh my God, I'll just type in this show. I'll type in like whatever word that was kind of like really hot from the song. And it, it will come up on YouTube. It'll come up on mm -hmm. Google. And that's like the really cool thing. You can find that music. You can yeah. find that music that, honestly, back in the day, if there was any video game lovers, whatever schmuck or weirdo that he was, like, this Mario 2 song sounds great. I love it. <laughs> There's no way he could ever find it without contacting, like, Nintendo. Before through, YouTube? Through mail. No, and you, being could, like, you could play the game. That's what you do. You have to play, you, you play the game or the, you just listen to it on a MIDI track somewhere. Can you remember back with I guess it was AOL days before before cable internet before before the original Xbox was out and I was just like what I have to be on cable internet to use this thing no like, can you remember back in the day what would you do if you wanted to find music you found them you found a MIDI file and it was that's all it was that's all it like was, there was yeah. no MP3 before Kazaa no even before Napster I mean yeah, yeah. yeah. There, there was just MIDI files that's all I, I, I yeah. it was VGM music or something there's a dot com website that all it has is VGM I actually VGM remember music. um. Looking up MIDI music for songs I heard on the radio, which is yeah ridiculous. That was your option. Yeah, like, like it was there, you couldn't. It took forever. I don't think MP3s were. I think they were around, but they weren't popular yet. Mm -hmm. You know, like it so, wasn't practical because like the dial. It was, I mean, it, it was so, speeds, yeah. It was so slow. Like it would take me. I remember downloading. I was downloading. Uh, I don't. I'm not gonna tell you what I Porno? was downloading on on Napster Porno. and Kazaa. <laughs> I won't tell you, Period. but I would literally leave it on. 
for like I would be online. We had two we had two phone lines. Two phone lines. So one was for internet, one was for calls. Yeah. And I would leave my internet on for like a week. I would be on AOL or whatever for a week long downloading the stuff. Porno. <laughs> I didn't say it was porno. It was porno. <laughs> but it was, it was no porn. It was the opposite yeah. of porno. And it just took forever. Nor- but, uh, yeah, MIDI was the only way to go. Yeah. Just, I, I, yeah, you know, I feel bad for anybody who had to live in that. Um, t- All of that, us that three years of dial up. <laughs> <laughs> it was awful. Man, I had twenty eight k for the longest time. Oh, it was this. it was embarrassing. It was actually it was actually wait, wait, embarrassing. Wait, who had the Dreamcast here? Anybody? I had the Dreamcast. Okay, I, I did currently you, have a Dreamcast. Did, yes. Yeah, I, I saw mine too. But did you ever uh, play it online? Uh, no, I haven't. I, I did. You did? I did. I played. Uh, what? Wait, do you remember what you played? I, it was either Virtual On or mm. Power Stone. Power. Okay, Powerful. Yeah, Power Stone was Power great. Stone was was awesome. that online? I can't remember if it was pretty or not. Sure, I was, I was it was definitely sure multiplayer, was but mm-hmm. it was like a Smash Brothers before Smash. Well, Brothers. My dad yeah. definitely played football online. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All yeah. the sports were online. It was a two K, a two K, mm-hmm. NFL two K. Amazing game, but there was a. Uh, I played Quake online. Yeah, I, oh, wow. I remember at the time there was a. Uh, Walmart had their own 56k. That was all the rage. Everyone <laughs> had their own internet, and Walmart had uh, what was it, Blue Light, and I, I, it was free. It was like the crazy thing. Like, anyone, anyone could use it. So you go online and set up your account or whatever, and I was like, that's what I used for my Dreamcast internet. It was terrible. The <laughs> you know, like it would be so choppy, but uh, but. I was fucking playing Quake online, online. Wh- which was amazing. Like, amazing. like I, I, and I played Doom on. I did play Doom online, like LAN with my friends back in the day, like with my old ass computer. I play Quake uh, online because my computer couldn't handle that time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it was just yeah. amazing. Even though it was choppy, I didn't care. I was yeah. like, this is amazing. Ultimately, technology is a trip. And again, if you were born during that time, you know that's. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, kids, I, kids nowadays got it so yeah, easy. Yeah, it's so good. Xbox Live voiceover, like what? What guys? You got to so, imagine. I mean, that. You guys got to go so easy because we definitely had to experience the growth through it, and the mm-hmm. growth was hard. You know, like Tough we, times. like we are as amazed as our parents about the speeds. You know what I mean? Our parents had no idea. They still don't know how to use it. They're like, oh, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> a tetrabyte? <laughs> what is that? What was a tetrabyte? What's a yeah. Gmail? All right, <laughs> Gmail. Is that no, gangster mail? I, I, I want Gmail instead of Gmail. You know, so I yeah. again, like you know, the technology is wild. Make use of it. Have some fun. Um, mm-hmm. Back to the show because <laughs> we're on the this show. Is the, this is this the, is show. the show. You this can't go back to the show. We're on the show. Right now? What the hell? Uh, we're in the show. Ed, what's you? What's the song that you picked? What What are we doing? What What's going on? I what picked right something from Catherine. Sexy. Catherine. Yeah. I never played this well, game. Can Catherine. you explain Catherine to Please us? Please explain. It's a game puzzle play. game where I've, you. Where you puzzle, puzzle. Yes, her. you pull blocks to get to the top of the level. Like you have to make your own stairs, pretty much. And all this time, something scary is trying to chase you and kill you in your dreams. Now, I, I, I'm sorry, Nate. I, I saw this game. I'm looking at the cover, and there's a blonde woman. Mm-hmm. And the, judging from this theme, if you guys could all imagine with me, it's about getting to this woman and have sex with her. So I'm confused because it's a puzzle game where I pull up these blocks and I climb these stairs to have sex with her. No, no, no. It's, it's in your dreams and like it's in my dreams. You're currently in a long-term relationship with someone you don't really want to be with, and you get drunk at a bar and wake up next to a girl who's gorgeous, and everything plays out in your dreams. Now the thing that's chasing me is there some type of water monster because I'm in my dreams. I'm assuming it's like a, a wet dream. It's actually, <laughs> I think the monsters are like a baby and your current girlfriend who wants so you to. Th- those are, is, so it's like a timing thing. You have to get to oh, the very top before yeah, they get before you. Before she kills you. Oh, uh, okay. And, and that, that's an interesting like dynamic. So the mm-hmm. mechanics of the game is like, there's, it's story driven clearly mm-hmm. with like that whole theme of cheating on your girlfriend type yeah, of thing. Yeah. But at the same time, the mechanics of the game is it's a puzzle game essentially. Mm-hmm. Right? That's exactly what it so is. So it's a story driven puzzle game. It's. There's not too many games out there that actually go that route with it, that yeah. keep that story. Like, not even just puzzle games in general, but ones that will go with the cheating or just, just being in a relationship. Yeah, so that's the, That's basically the theme, right? You're in a relationship. Right? Yeah. No, yeah. Okay. And, 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 and you have to choose between start, two girls. We're much. starting oh, yeah. to see more of those games, though. And that's, those that's are outside the box. Like, you know, as far sure. as, like, it's definitely outside the, just, I don't know, this the more linear uh, games that we're usually dealing with. But, yeah. like, you know, these more, I, I guess, dynamic and just... 
kind of like more story based games are cool. I think mm-hmm. I'm I'm really into things like that. And uh, my roommate was telling me about a game where uh, it's a DS game, I believe, but apparently it's these doctors. There are two doctors that. Um, are you going, talking about trauma center? I, I'm not sure. Um, okay. Tell me after I finish telling okay. you what the game is. You, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. Um, Stealing my thunder. Pa- what the fuck? Uh, these doctors, you, you're in a hospital. You're dying and whatnot. And in order, they're like, you know, uh, my last wish, or to like, in order to be happy or whatever fuck it is. Um, these doctors have to go in your dreams to kind of like figure out what made you like the happiest or some shit like that. Hmm. And um, it's wild because these doctors live in, as in characters in your world, the world that you live when you live. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And like you know, these are all these are their dying wish. Like so, these are, these are and to to grant their dying wish, you have to go inside their dreams and basically complete it as almost it was them. You know what I mean? And like it's these two doctors, and like again, if you don't complete it correctly, you die and they die. Mm-hmm. Without having their last wish, and this is—I mean, this is obviously ridiculous. That's so crazy. It's, a, it's a, I think it's a, it's a, it's a Japanese game. I, I got to find the game and I'm put it on the website. But it's—he told me about this game. I'm like, that's crazy. That's that sounds very epic. As like, you know, I'm pretty sure I can see a script like that. Like, wow, that's crazy. That's cool. You know, like, you know, what? Uh, I mean, I wish I knew what game that was. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll, I'll someone, find someone it. online will will call us. Yeah, on absolutely. But at the same time, you're getting these. You know, more of a you know hard rain and uh, heavy rain. heavy rain. I keep I kind of hard rain last time. <laughs> yeah, rain. you're like hard, hard rain. rain, hard rain. rain. This time it's teens. It's a bunch of girls <laughs> and it's, it's so hard. hard. It's so uh, hard. Heavy rain. You're just getting these really story driven stories. I mean, story driven stories. Yeah, I, I, I'm done talking. <laughs> yeah, please, <laughs> you are not the host I'm anymore. The, <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, well, with that said, we should go to our new segment, which is amazing. Uh, it, it's actually, hey Ed, hey Ed, hey Ed, hey Nate, hey, you should go ahead and tell us about our next segment. Such battle! <laughs> it's the Satch battle. It's a Ooh, Satch battle. It got sexy. What's the, what is the Satch battle? What, what is that? Well, we put two <laughs> people against each other on random video game trivia. And who's the versus today? What's a pit? It's, it's Nate, Nate Bit versus <laughs> Just Mark. Yay! Uh, Yay! I'm gonna destroy you. You're gonna destroy me. I'm going to obliterate you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Will you? No, this is terrible. Mm. I mean, obliterate. I mean, obliterate is actually. No. Defeating your entire being from the point where you were born. You wouldn't even have an existence right now. That, is that what obliterating I, means? I have no idea, but it, it sounds pretty bad. <laughs> it was Satch a, it was, battle! We, oh, yeah. Let's try this. This was a Satch battle. We completely... All right, all all right. right guys. All right. Well, I'll ask a question, and whoever answers first correctly wins the point. All right. First Here. to three wins the game. Oh, wow. Okay, let's go. All Dude. right. Here's your first question, guys. No. That is not the answer. <laughs> yes! Can you lose points if you say a wrong answer? Exactly. Oh, no, that's not, no. That's, we, we didn't Mar- discuss it. Just Mark with that. negative one. Oh, come on, <laughs> yeah. come on. What, what's the yes. first question? Let's I love go. this game. What legendary Nintendo game was a Link to the Past sequel Link. to? Zelda. Oh, sh- Uh, Link's Adventure. Uh, you said a Link to a Past sequel. Majora's Mask, which is wrong. No, it neither was, of you are right. Was the Legend of Zelda. What did you wait, ask that question? Wait, wait, I'm, wait. wait. I'm okay, sorry. here's the question. Here's, I'm, I'm going to ask it normal without my game show. Please, host, please. please. Right. What legendary Nintendo game was a link to the past a sequel to? <laughs> so we, we failed that question. Oh, uh, we, we're fucking this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're both at <laughs> we're both at zero. First one to three. Let's go. All right. What was the first console to have a modem? Dreamcast. Ooh. No. PlayStation. Uh, Nate Bit is correct uh, with the point. You should, make, you should say right away. That makes okay. sense. Yeah, you <laughs> yeah, should. Okay, okay, so I'm like, wait, next no. Next time okay. I will. Okay. What computer classic sent players to Phobos to blast Spectres, Lost Souls, and Cacodemus? Cacodemons. Hubert. Doom. One. Nate Bid for the yeah. win! Oh my god. I was saying Two Q-Bert I had no idea. If I knew the answer was Doom, I would have definitely said that. <laughs> the Jeez, current score is 2-2-0 two, two, in favor of Nate Bid. Oh, he's rocking his show. I'm the bigger nerd. Oh my god. Yes. Okay. 
What hip hop puppy starred in the first PlayStation game? Parappa the Rapper. Oh, oh shit! Dang. Hip hop puppy. Uh, I mean, if there's another hip hop puppy, chop my leg off. <laughs> that is correct. Just smart. It's all in your mind. If you want to test me, how do you find? <laughs> oh my god! Great. I think okay. I, I feel like that was the start of all music video games. Honestly, I can't name. I can't name most video music. There games. There hasn't been another one that's like that. Uh, there was another one on P. Was that PlayStation One? There yeah. was Bust but, to Move. Bust to Move. Bust to Move. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, st- I still move. have songs in my library that I downloaded from that. They were good uh, songs, right? Yeah. Yeah. From that. Gasso, uh, there was a couple other I ones. I think there. like Kitty was really good. Yeah, that's, Kitty. That's one I... That was awesome, man. Okay. What fruit helps restore a player's health in Donkey Kong 64? Bananas. Oh, shit. Donkey Kong 64. I, I said bananas. Mangoes. I'm gonna stick with it. Both of you are wrong. Oh, what is it? Pineapple. Watermelon. Because oh. he's black. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? First thing. Okay, I will say Donkey Kong is black because that's awesome. Second thing, really? A watermelon? That's... At least it wasn't fried chicken. Oh, this is start. This is Donkey Kong 64. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Donkey Kong 64. Oh, there was no, wait, there was no health in uh, the Super Nintendo, right? No, no. It, it you was just, just got you, hit you, and you hit died. And you died. Yeah, you, you were yeah. done. Yeah. I, I mean, it was, it was pretty tough for you to get hit, though. Kind Great of. game. Oh, yeah. Great it, game. It was, one of, it was one of the few games. Actually, I, I remember... Back in the day, I got a VHS tape yeah. of this of the tips and tricks. Like yeah. I, I forgot yeah. who sent it to me, but it was like all the specials and all the uh, little hidden areas. Uh, anyway, next next question. next question. Yeah, next question. What Bandai Cyber Toy gave kids a chance to mate their pipochi with a kabuchi? <laughs> Oh my God. I'm gonna have to say Tomagachi because that's all I that's all I can say. Mark with yeah. just Mark with oh, the points. He said a chi though. Like literally, I, I remember like these things on TV. It's like to mm-hmm. have this thing and you can raise this thing. Yeah. I, I didn't know it was Bandai. When you said Bandai, I was thinking Power Rangers or VR Troopers. That's all I thought of. But after you Wait, said Bandai cheese, was behind Tamaguchi. Tama, 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 that, make, that makes that makes sort of sense. It kind of like that entire deal. All right, all right. So all right, what, so we're, we're two two right. Two two yeah, right two, now. Two. This, this is, is right. for the win. For the win. Uh-huh. Ed Just for the like win. Ed for the win. Oh, look at him. Questions for the win. All right. This one's really tough, guys. What Nintendo hero was more recognizable to kids than Mickey Mouse or Bugs Bunny? Mario. And just Mark wins the what game. What the fuck? Are you serious? Are you kidding me? You're kidding? That's the worst That's question asked. That's the ask. greatest question. Plus, he didn't even ask the question yet. First thing, you have to answer those. If it's Jeopardy, you say, what is Mario, even if the question's not even done. Don't don't even. <laughs> I, don't quit, even. I quit the show. I, this is well, stupid. Actually, actually, that's a great question, though, because mm-hmm. Disney... Disney's almost even waiting for Nintendo to have an issue so they can buy Mario. Mario is the issue, is the... World's mm. largest, most recognizable yeah. character. Oh, yeah. character. If literally, if Disney had any type of like, uh, they have that huge major lawsuit or any type of bankruptcy, Disney would Nintendo buy Mario. Yeah, oh, yeah. Second. Oh, yeah. Nintendo would buy Mario like in a second. Mm-hmm. Like you know, I was literally thinking about like how many billions of dollars they buy yeah. Mario because he's 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 outstanding. I hope Definitely. that never happens because I feel like if anybody besides Nintendo had Mario, it would just he would he would be hoard out. He'd be he'd be awesome. <laughs> he'd be, be would, He'd have the Super Mario Brothers movie. Oh, I remember that movie. With, the, the, that yeah. was terrible. I mean, that was that was yeah. great. It was probably it was great for its time. They could do uh, one not now. Really. It got, was it was a horrible movie. It had Dennis Hopper. I don't even know, uh, but it was like it was like Bowser was ridiculous. The uh, the bob the bob Oh, the bombs. yeah, the bombs are fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, that was, was it was really fun. tiny. And... I don't like how they did the Goombas though. That was no? kind of stupid. It was kind of it was kind of weird. weird looking. They were like, "Hey, let's make them reptiles instead of mushrooms or faces." Yeah, and then like but they you, got big ass bodies and little ass heads. You really think so. about it though, like how how else would they translate Mario into an actual like watchable movie? That I feel like that's the, that's that's basically the only result they could have. Had. I don't I don't know, guys, but I got I gotta we gotta quit the show because I gotta I gotta go. You gotta, you gotta pee. <laughs> You're leaving. You're like, I'm so done. So bad. Either Nate, you either gotta close the show, man, or I got, I'm just gonna do it. All right, all right, let's just do it. This let's is the end it. of the show. Hey, hey, hey. you got it. You hey. got it. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Well, I, th- 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 thanks for checking out Slightly Jar Treasure Chest episode th- four, October first. October. Hey guys, you guys are around. Go out and have a good time with October first. Uh, booze and Halloween and drinking and whatnot. Again, this is Jess Mark here. 
your co-host Nate Bit right here. Boom. And Ed for the win. Ed for the win. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. Check out the website, S-A-T-C-H-V-G-M.com. That's Satch. VGM.com, baby. Uh, if you're an indie artist, by the way, definitely give us an email and let us know what you're doing. And uh, we'd love to hear from you. See you next week. 